Travel to far west Texas and you will find one of the quirkiest little towns Texas has to offer. Yes, it is known for its minimalist art, mysterious lights, and Hollywood history. Marfa is where we find our Ann Harder as she's traveling Texas. Ground was broken on Marfa's Hotel Paisano just days before the stock market crash in 1929. But this Spanish colonial revival hotel was put on the map in 1955 when Warner Brothers came to town and began filming the classic movie, Giant. It was known as the most elegant hotel between El Paso and San Antonio, but it's famous for being the headquarters to the cast and crew for the film Giant, starring Elizabeth Taylor, Rock Hudson, and James Dean. After the first two weeks, the main stars moved to private residences, but during production, they continued to dine at the hotel, enjoy the lobby and lounge area, and watch their dailies. El Paso native Carol Gilcrease had her own brush with the Hollywood stars when she was just a small child. Our ranch is between Valentine and Marfa, and it's still an operating cattle ranch in our family. And when I was little, and I can't tell you what age that was, maybe five, my grandmother took us to the Paisano and Rock Hudson and Liz Taylor were there and we got to meet him. Liz was incredibly gorgeous, and Rock was drop dead gorgeous. So, it's and you just, even knew that at age five. I did, <laughs> I did, and, and it was fun. It was really fun. <laughs> just a few blocks away from the Paisano, you'll find one of the prettiest courthouse squares in Texas. Built in 1886, the pink stucco Presidio County Courthouse is of the Second Empire Italianate style. Lady Justice is high atop the Central Dome and can be seen from almost any location in Marfa. But Marfa is best known as an artist hub. I spoke with Alpine artist Carol Fairley, a master painter and art professor at Sul Ross State University. She drives the 25 miles to Marfa each week to do a radio show for the public station there. You have to remember Marfa's village. You know, we're a little, little teeny weeny city, but Marfa's a village. She says artist Donald Judd moved there and attracted other big name artists. He was really frustrated that he would, he was collected worldwide and he would go to these museums and his work would be in storage. He started the Chinati Foundation and he set up permanent installations of famous artists who were friends of his from New York City and uh, really came down here and bought over the city. And perhaps one of the most famous art exhibits in the whole state is outside Marfa, close to Valentine, Texas, a fake luxury boutique. So tell me what I need to know about the, the whole product. Thing. Up enough, there's nothing to know. You just need to see it. Uh, it's uh, very tongue in cheek, really fun. You know, it's a Prada store in the middle of nowhere with shoes and purses in the window. As day draws to a close, our visit to Marfa must include an attempt to see the famous Marfa lights. About 40 other hopefuls joined us at sunset at the observation point on Route 67 East. All of us trying to get a glimpse of the mirage. We thought our chances were good, but by nightfall, we'd given up. Well, we gave it a try. Maybe the moon's too bright tonight. Not sure what happened, but the mysterious Marfa lights are still a mystery to me. What's not a mystery, your trip to the beautiful desert southwest, this part of West Texas, must include Marfa. In Marfa, I'm Ann Harder.